Hi there! This episode of The Midnight Video is brought to you by Lucky's, a light smoke of rich, ripe-bodied tobacco. It's toasted, obviously Santa's favorite. Just like most people, I have several sides to my viewpoints. I can be an optimist. I can also be a pessimist. But I would prefer to be a realist, and that is what I strive for. How any of this is perceived by others is strictly a matter of opinion. With that being said, let me introduce you to a remarkable craft, the Jetson One. Let's look at this as an optimist. It's cool. Pretty much anyone can fly it. If you can fly a drone, you can fly this. It is vertical takeoff and landing and travels at a pretty good speed. It looks to be a lot of fun to fly and you don't need a pilot's license to fly it. It's all electric and that is pretty impressive. The charge will last for about 20 minutes. This can be considered to be the next step in personal aircraft technology. But as a realist, I need to point out some things. First of all, this has been done before, mostly without any commercial success. This is a photo of Jess Dixon in his personal helicopter in 1940. Only a few of these were ever made. Since then, many variations of personal air transportation crafts have been developed. Quite a few of these were simply a rigid wing aircraft bolted onto a car. Now these operated as a regular aircraft that would have to fly in and out of a landing strip or airport and you'd unhook the car to drive away. You would also need a pilot's license to operate it. Not very convenient and also not very easy to fly. They were not really all that airworthy. However, advancements continued and over the last 30 years there have been many very cool concepts and even fully operational personal flying machines. Many actually flew. These were nearly always relegated to commercial enterprise from the drawing board to the prototype to sales. They required a great deal of cash investment. Investors investments. These crafts were big on hyping the personal coolness of tolling around in your own aircraft. It was this dream that caused many to dump millions into the project, each one a commercial failure. You would have thought that we could have simply used 80-year-old hindsight to know this was not a good deal. The Sky Car was a perfect example. These were never delivered to those who paid for them. Charges were levied and fines were paid. Popular mechanics helped in the hype, saying that anyone could fly the Sky Car. Except they couldn't. The fact is that it never really flew that well. The FAA refused to license the thing, and in 2017 it went for sale on eBay for $5 million, with the provision that no one would be able to fly it. The thing was a death trap. Even if you managed to get only 20 feet off the ground, all it would take is for one of these huge engines to hiccup and everything would turn into a burning wreck on the ground. And that is the main problem with these sky-high ambitions, at least so far. When things go wrong, you're dead. And that brings us back to Jetson 1, the latest in a long line of pipe dreams. Does it fly? Absolutely. For 20 minutes, give or take a lifetime. A lot of money went into this. You can buy one for just shy of 100 grand. But all orders have been filled through 2023. Now for the pessimist to throw open the door. If history has taught us anything, it's that more than likely those who would lay out that kind of cash for one of these things literally have zero guarantee that it will be delivered. My guess is that they won't be. The company could easily go under and leave everyone with a hundred thousand dollar hole in their pockets. And the fact that these things are easy to fly, like akin to flying a drone for example, it also equates to the average drone flyer. All of the little mishap caused by the flyer that happened to drones can also happen to a very rich single flyer drone captain of his own ship, but the results being times 100. In conclusion, I don't understand why anyone would need to go to these lengths, you know, beyond the technical advancement aspect that could lead us on to new frontiers. But as far as personal aircraft, what's wrong with this? 
a gyrocopter. These things are a blast to fly, probably the safest ultralight aircrafts ever. That is because lift isn't provided by an engine. The freewheeling blade above catches the wind and pulls you up. Forward motion provides this by means of a single engine. Think of a hang glider with a small engine, except this baby can really perform. It can take off and land in a small area. It enjoys a wide range of safe air speeds from 10 miles an hour to 100 plus. In addition, gyrocopters are the most maneuverable of all aircraft. They have a power to weight ratio of an F-16. In the hands of an experienced pilot, a well-made and stable gyrocopter can handle wind and wind gusts better than almost all light aircraft, and it's impossible to stall out and drop. Gyrocopters are also easy to store and transport. This used two-seater model went for about 16 grand. The price of a good used car. Thanks for watching. <laughs>